What's up, you wonderful people? In today's video, I want to answer again, should you learn to code in 2024? This seems to be a recurring theme, and I think you're asking the wrong question. For instance, if the plane could fly itself, should you still learn to become a pilot? I think there's a lot more to this than what you think. There's so many different opportunities for you, not just in coding if you are technically literate. For instance, a lot of CEOs of tech companies, they are all familiar with coding and software engineering. So to learn to code, regardless of what the future brings, it still gives you a superpower to be able to continue to grow in any career that you do. For instance, when mathematics were discovered, right? Someone who didn't know math versus someone who knew math, you had more opportunities. And it's the same thing with coding and same thing with web development. For instance, a lot of people, when they ask this question, the reason why I feel they stop, and please correct me in the comments, is when they watch someone say there's not going to be any more coders or developers in the future because of AI, they automatically assume they won't be able to get a job. So I think when a lot of people are thinking, should I learn to code? They're literally thinking and asking, should I learn to code so I could have a job? And when there's some doubt in their mind that there might not be any jobs that exist, they automatically quit. And I'm not saying that it's because they're trying to find the path of least resistance, but if you follow this logic down this rabbit hole, for instance, if AI got so good that it's replacing developers, it's going to replace every other possible injury. So there'll be no jobs for anybody. And I don't think that's what's going to happen. Just like the, with the invent of the calculator, we still have people that do math. We still have people that work as mathematicians, they use math to solve problems. It's the same thing in development. Just because you're going to have these AI tools, you're still going to be there to make the decisions, to drive the path, to control, dictate, to organize things, to get things done. And so I personally don't think that AI is going to replace us anytime soon for many reasons. So if you're on the fence or you're trying to figure this out, don't worry about it. Just do what you enjoy. I would argue if AI is going to replace everything, might as well do the things you enjoy. So instead of telling you why I think the world is not going to end and why AI is not going to take our jobs, here's the thing that I ask myself whenever I decide something. And this is a quote I heard from someone. This is how they decide if something is worth pursuing as a path. And what they said, if you knew that you were going to fail, would you still embark on the journey of learning? And for me, that's a yes. So even though if I knew that I would probably not be able to break into the industry or get my job or do freelancing or do any of those other things, I still wanted to pursue coding because I knew the learning journey was going to be fun. I really enjoy it. It's really fun for me and it brings me a lot of joy. So I would do coding regardless if I knew if I was going to have a guaranteed job or not. And that's the question that I'm going to ask. And I feel a lot of folks that are asking is learning to code worth it? You're asking the wrong question, but instead what you should be focusing on, is that something you enjoy doing and you would do no matter what? Because if you're looking for something that's just going to be done for, let me make as much money as I can, then go into finance, you know, become one of these Wall Street guys or girls, you know, but for us, the reason why we take a look at coding is because we find it interesting and fun. And if that's not you, you're probably not going to make it in this field. So for me, here's the things that I've noticed in my career by Starting to code late in life, I was really afraid that there won't be any jobs for me or any opportunity. I was really petrified with the fact that, oh my God, what if I can't get a job? What if I can't be a developer? And to my surprise, I was able to get my first job at 39 years old working as a React developer. And I'm about to turn 45 in July, so I've been in the industry 
almost going on six years. And I went from working as a software developer to working as a developer advocate. And I also had many opportunities to kind of see all the different things you could do if you know development. Because just being a coder or web developer is not the only thing you could do in the industry. The industry is so huge that there's so many different opportunities for you if you speak the tech language. And that's why I'm excited to be in the industry that I'm in because there's all these different avenues that you could pursue as someone who knows how to code. And this is something that excites me. And one thing I've been watching lately is a lot of entrepreneurs who start businesses, create cool products. And what surprised me, they don't ask the question, is coding worth it? They just look at it as a way for them to build cool products and services for their clients. And at the end of the day, it's not if, you know, learning to code going to exist or not. Is the question is, is it giving you the power to be able to solve solutions that people will pay money for? And believe it or not, there's so many different ways and different things you could do that going to allow you to create income from becoming self-employed, from building your agencies, from having a job, from being a developer, from going to DevRel, working on creating documentations, being solutions engineers. There's just so many different things you could do. So if you really enjoy it, and this is something that brings you fun and passion, and you just want to do it no matter if you think you're going to fail, then go ahead and do it. But if you think that success needs to be guaranteed, otherwise you're not going to try, I don't think you're going to find happiness in any industry because no matter what you do, it is going to be difficult. So might as well commit to something that you enjoy doing and go for it. So let me know your counter arguments. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of AI doomers. They're going to say T8000 is going to come out and destroy the world. Possibly could happen. Maybe we might be living in the matrix. Maybe we're already living in the matrix. Who knows? But I know one thing for sure. If you're sitting in your room and you're wondering, should I learn to code? No, AI is going to take a job. Should I do this? And then you play some video games, then you spin your wheels and you don't take action to do something to change your life. Then no matter what industry you choose, it's going to be very hard for you to find success. It's just the reality. So if you decided that coding is not for you because there's another passion that you have, then that's what you do. But if you're just trying to make a decision if learning to code is worth it, not based on your own interest and your passion, but what some of these YouTube bros or gals are telling you, then you're doing yourself a disservice. So what I would tell you is if this is something you enjoy, who cares if, you know, you feel or scared that you're going to fail. It doesn't matter what job you take. There's going to be this fear of failure and Nothing is guaranteed in life except taxes and death. And so why not just do the things that you want to do and enjoy them while you're here on this planet, rather than trying to spin your wheels, sitting in one place and just living in this bubble of influencers who are pushing fear and telling you all the jobs are going to go away. This is going, you know what? If all the jobs disappear, believe me, it's not just going to be developers that are going to have issues. So until that happens, Maybe it'll happen next year, who knows? Maybe it'll happen 20 years from now. I'm personally gonna continue on this journey and continue to learn to code. So I hope you found this video motivational. I just wanted to make it because I feel like so many people make the decision, especially when they're new, like, and they just quit pursuing learning to code, that it breaks my heart because I know that there's still opportunity. And I've been listening to so many interviews with entrepreneurs, startup managers. And what's funny, it's like they're out of like the demographic of developers because they're just all about building a business and they don't ask the question, sure, learn to code. They just ask, what do I need to know to create the service or this product that solves a business issue? Which is funny to me. They just do the things that they need to do. And yet some of us who are just looking to be developers, we're just thinking of it as a job and that's the end of the means. And we don't think about anything else from the standpoint that 
learning to code, it's not just the way for you to get a job, but it's a way for you to be empowered to build whatever service your imagination creates. And what's awesome, more than ever, these AI tools allow you to learn things faster, build things and iterate through the process faster. AI is not perfect. There's plenty of issues that it creates, but you are able to jump into this industry and you literally are just held back by your imagination. So if you put in your work and you study, you're going to get to where you need to go. And if you don't get to where you're gonna or wanna go, at least you tried your best. And if someone says to me, well, I want a guarantee, well, I'm sorry, there's no guarantee for anything that you do. I worked in plenty different industries outside of tech. Guess what? Every industry has layoffs. Every industry has the bad times. Every industry, depending on the, you know, the current state of the world, some industries do better, some industries do worse. And so no matter where you go, the grass is not greener on the other side. So what I would say, just do the things that you want to do. So if you want to learn to code, learn to code. You want to be a lawyer, go become a lawyer. You want to be a doctor, go become a doctor but don't let other people on YouTube tell you what you should try or not try until you try it yourself. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.